Right, okay then. Uh, we're going to look at um, hedging towards Archimedes' principle in the next few videos because um, Archimedes' principle is a new part of the A-level specification, so you need to be aware of it uh, quite astutely because it is uh, something that did come up last year and there are examples of it on the YouTube channel, so do check those out and uh, make sure you're happy with them as well. So uh, we're going to start where you would understand from. Uh, we're going to start with the equation, which is pressure equals force over an area. Now that um, is all down to the fact that pressure um, is what's important when it comes to something as an example. You know, if I smack the board with a force, um, it doesn't really hurt, but there's a drawing pin here. And if I was to use this drawing pin and put it on the on the duck board and I was to slam my hand on there, well, the pain would be quite significant even though I used the same force. And the reason for that is quite simply because the pressure when I hit the pin is much greater because the surface area is much smaller. So when I divide by a much smaller number, I get a big pressure. And it's that pressure that causes the pain there. So, uh, most importantly, what's the units? So, is a newton per meter, per meter squared, and also known as the Pascal. Okay, so that's the units of pressure. There are other units of pressure. Um, obviously, those of you who drive bikes, ride car, um, and cars, and uh, you'll know about bar and psi and uh, atmospheres. Um, you're not expected to do those kind of conversions, and if you are, they would tell you what the conversion would be uh, in the question. So, um, what we're looking at here is we're going to use this equation as a start point for looking at hedging towards Archimedes' principle. So, uh, if I'm under the water, uh, depending on how deep I go, depends on the amount of water that's on top of me that will give rise to a pressure that I experience. So, um, when I'm under the water at a certain depth, I want to be able to work out what my pressure is, or the pressure on me due to that depth. So, we start out with the base equation, pressure equals force over area. And we can start to break this down. The area is me. I'm the area. Um, in all terms of purposes, I can be treated as a cylinder. I don't think I am a cylinder, but um, when I'm laying flat, but it's just the idea just to give you a, a base understanding for area. So we can use, we can break this down slightly because the force is equal to the mass times the gravity. Uh, mg or ma as you've been taught, uh, mass being the mass of the water that's on top of me. And you would expect the force that I feel to be based on whatever's on top of me. The more water I have on top of me, the more pressure I'm going to feel. So if we don't know the mass of the water, and I, in all intents and purposes I'm not going to be working out what the mass of the water is on top of me when, I, when I'm underneath the water, we might try and break this down into a different definition. So mass, if we look at a definition, density, which is rho, is equal to an amount of mass per unit volume. You should uh, be aware of that one from GCSE as well. So density is the amount of mass per unit volume. Um, rearranged mass is equal to rho v. Now please bear in mind that is not a P, that's a rho, it's a slanty P, it's a Greek symbol rho. Uh, it's very important, I'll make it a bit more slantier because we, we are dealing with pressure as well in this, in this situation. But you need to be able to make sure you know the difference. So I've got a term for M there and I can input that in there to give a new term for uh, F, which is uh, F equals... Uh, v rho g. Okay, so I've got a value for f that's v rho g, and I can actually input that now into this equation to get the new one altogether. 
So pressure is equal to V rho G over A, because that's force divided by area. Right, okay, so where do we go from here? Well, when we look at this cylinder of water that's on top of me under the water, then I can say that it's got a height, and as we've already suggested, it has an area. Now, you should be aware that you can calculate volume by height times the area. Now, just think of a, a, a basic cube, if you were looking to work out the volume of that cube, you'd do uh, length times breadth times uh, width, wouldn't you? And you'd times all three together. Area is your length and breadth already in one, uh, in one term. So we've just simplified it slightly. So V can be rewritten as H times A. So if we input that into there, that gives us a new final version, which is the pressure is equal to uh, H A rho G over A. And so what we need to do now is we need to simplify this. So if I cross out those A's, we end up with a nice equation that is Pressure is equal to H rho G. Now that is brilliant because all I need to know about my predicament is how deep I am under the water, the density of the liquid that I'm in, and the, con con the constant gravity. And that will allow me to work out the pressure that I would feel under the water, regardless of my size. Okay, so um, we're going to feel, feel the amount of pressure based on the depth of the water, the H, the density, and the gra and gravity as a constant. So essentially this is quite nice, the deeper you get, the more pressure you'd have, the more dense material you find yourself swimming in, the more pressure you're going to experience at the same depth as well. Um, so very, very nice uh, explanation of that as well. So uh, in the next video, we'll look to derive uh, Archimedes' principle from this, but this is a nice starting point and we'll carry up, pick the rest up and do some examples in the next video.